where we have all come together to celebrate the marriage of Graham and Cheney. And on their behalf, I would like to thank you all very much for being here on this, their very special day. Now, a few introductions first. My name is Naomi Chetland, and my colleague in the corner over here is Sue Andrews. And together, we represent the Hampshire Ceremonies team. Now, during the ceremony today, Sue is making the legal and historical record of this marriage. Whilst it's my job, to guide the couple through their vows and promises to each other. Before we begin, the Lord does require me to ask you both to state your full name. So, Graham, your full name, please. My name is Graham David Harding Jones. Thank you. And Cheney, your full name. Cheney Louise Clark. You have been introduced. You can hold hands if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> so I put those on the table for you. Try and relax. <laughs> Now, we are gathered here today in this room, which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of civil marriages. It is at this point, however, there is a question that I do need to ask all of you. I'm not looking for any audience participation because I do have to ask if any person here present knows of any just cause or lawful impediment as to why this marriage should not take place then they should declare it now. Silence. <laughs> it's okay, I can see their faces, we're all right. Yeah. It's all good, Sam. Yeah. So marriage joins two people who trust in the love that they have found. It is a partnership in which each can grow and be their true self whilst also sharing in the development of the other. But further, it is a statement to all of those around them of what the two of them already know, namely that they have found love, friendship and support that they wish to share for the rest of their lives together. Now, it has long been the tradition in this and many parts of the world for the bride's hand to be given in marriage. And the responsibility falls with Ron. Ron, if you'd like to join us. If I just get you to take your daughter's hand, I've got some really important questions for you. So, Ron, are you bringing Cheney happily into the love and care of Graham today? I am. And do you wish them every happiness in their future lives together? Definitely. Lovely. If you'd like to pass our hand over. That's lovely. Thank you very much, Ron. So I now have to ask each of you in turn to make a solemn and a truthful declaration that to the best of your knowledge and belief, there is no lawful impediment as to why you should not marry each other today. So, Graham, you're up first for me. If you can repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Graham David Harding Jones. Why I, Graham David Harding Jones. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Cheney Louise Clark. To Cheney Louise Clark. On your turn, Cheney, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Cheney Louise Clark. Why I, Cheney Louise Clark may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to graham david harding jones to graham david harding jones don't know what you're worried about that was good <laughs> <laughs> so before you are joined in matrimony i have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the marriage ceremony and also of the nature of vows and promises which you are about to make today now, marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people. It is voluntarily entered into for life and to the exclusion of all others. 
It is a commitment to provide love and friendship, help and comfort that each should have for the other, both in times of joy but also in times of trouble. So this is what I like to call the I do moment. So I've got some really important questions for you. So Graham, do you take Cheney to be your wife? I do. Will you promise to love her and remain true to her for the rest of your life? I do. And Cheney, do you take Graham to be your husband? I do. Will you promise to love him and remain true to him for the rest of your life? I do. So, Graham and Cheney, you have both declared you're free to marry. I'm going to now ask you both to enter into your contract of marriage. Now, marriage in this country is actually a verbal contract. It's not the signing of the register that marries the couple. It's actually the words that they're about to exchange now. So, if you want to turn and face each other, join both hands. And, Graham, you're up first for me. If you could repeat after me. I, Graham David Harding-Jones... I, Graham David Harding Jones. Take you, Cheney Louise Clark. Take you, Cheney Louise Clark. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. 50% married now. Down to you, Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> if you can repeat after me. I, Cheney Louise Clark. I, Cheney Louise Clark. Take you, Graham David Harding Jones. Take you, Graham David Harding Jones. <laughs> <laughs> to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Well, you've done it now. Round of applause, everyone. <laughs> Very serious down there. <laughs> We need, well, we need you now. This is the important bit. So we've come to the exchange of rings, and this is the traditional way to seal the contract of marriage. A ring is an unbroken circle, and it has no beginning and no end, and is the outward sign of the promises you've just made together. So Sam, do you want to give Daddy the ring that he's given Mummy first? So if you open the little box up, give the little ring to, to Daddy. That is perfect. Sam, do you want to come and stand here? Yeah, that's it. Ring bearer there. And if you place that ring on your wife's finger. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can say these, say these words. Janie, I give you this ring. Here we go. Janie, I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. I will love you. I will love you. And bring you happiness and laughter. And bring you happiness and laughter. <laughs> throughout our life together. Throughout our life together. Ooh, and it fits. OK, do you want to go and give Mummy that ring? That's it. Yeah. Round of applause for Sam, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Safely delivered. <laughs> um, place that ring on your husband's finger. And hold it there while you say these words. Graham, I give you this ring. Graham, I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. I will love you. I will love you. And bring you happiness and laughter. And bring you happiness and laughter. Throughout our life together. Throughout our lives together. Do they both fit? Perfect. <laughs> now, there are moments in life when you really do appreciate your partner. You realise just how much you need them, just how much you rely on them, and why you respect them. May you always be able to talk things over and confide in each other. Remember always to laugh together. <laughs> and offer each other support and encouragement, but above all, find a future together full of health and happiness. So Graham and Cheney, you have both made the declarations required by law. You've made a solemn and a binding contract. 
in the presence of all your family and your friends that are gathered here today. It is therefore my great pleasure to announce you are now husband and wife. Graham, I think you know what to do. Would you like to kiss your wife? <laughs>
found a seat, come on, sit down. Now, first of all, I'd just like to thank everyone for being here today. I know it's a Friday, which wasn't the most convenient day for everyone, so yeah, a big thank you out for everyone to make an effort to, to come here today. I'm braving the weather. The weather not being the most helpful today, but so glad that we managed to get outside and get the photos taken. That was really, we were kind of hoping at least to get one window to do it. Um, just a little bit about why we're in this location. Cheney, my beautiful bride, who looks absolutely <laughs> stunning today. <laughs> we actually met online and we spent an entire summer uh, emailing and talking to each other online. And then one day we decided to meet up. And at the time I had two massive dogs, Betty, who was an American Bulldog, and Barney, who was a Black Labrador Cross Rhodesian Ridgeback. So both of them about seven stone. And we decided we'd take the dogs out for a walk. And we decided, I thought, a great place to go would be St. Catherine's Hill. St. Catherine's Hill being that hill just over there. Hence us being here today. We're very close to where we had our very first date. Oh. <laughs> although, it, <laughs> although it didn't quite go entirely to plan, did it? I've been out there a couple of weeks before, at the sort of early September after work, and it had been a lovely evening, go up to St. St. Catherine's Hill, you can see north, maybe nearly up to Ringwood, you can see all over Christchurch, see Christchurch Priory, you can see out to the Isle of Wight, got great views from there. And so I thought, that's where we'll go. Nice romantic setting to have our first date. Anyway, by the time I'd finished work, got changed, got, got over to your place, picked you up with the dogs, we'd driven out here. I hadn't taken into account how the clocks were changing <laughs> in September. So by the time we were up on top of St. Catherine's Hill, it actually started to get dark, didn't it? And there was us wandering around with two massive dogs in the dark, in the woods, and you thought you must have found some crazy <laughs> What have I done? You hear all the internet horror stories. But hopefully I didn't turn out to be that bad. Not that bad no. And we did get down in the end and we did find the car. Yeah, with the help of the phone torch. Yes, we had to use the phone as a torch. And <laughs> yeah. Yes. But it was, yeah, it was good fun. It was good fun, yes. But hence we're here, yeah, you can see where we did that just over there. Lovely place to go for a walk if you never have. So yeah, I'd like a big thank you to everyone for being here, but a special thank you for Cheney's parents. You've been brilliant, came along yesterday and helped out. <laughs> big thanks to John and Tina for running a, uh, a house full of people for the last, yes, it must have been a lot of, a lot of work. <laughs> And a big thank you, I'm going to pass over to now, in a minute, to Sam, my best man, with his top hat from The, the Greatest Showman. He's going to do the full costume later on, we hope. Who's now going to tell us a joke. Are you going to tell us a joke, Sam? We'll stand up on the chair, sir. So everybody can see you. <coughs> Loud. What do you call a mad flea? What do you call a mad flea? A lunatic. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, my turn. I've got something in here. Um, That's a big script, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's not that. It's not that either. This. This. Order. Order. Oh, steady. I've got to repeat what several people have said already. Welcome to everyone on behalf of Chris and me and Graham and Cheney. It's Cheney and Graham's special day, and everybody is well. As many of you will know, Cheney has been a little fighter since the day she arrived in 1980. From jumping out of the tree to see, thinking she could fly, being a racing driver in a pedal go kart with a bucket as a crash helmet, and telling me in no uncertain terms that maths are not as I thought. 
later careers as a nurse, running pubs, and telling you what you need to fix your Renault, another brass car brand, <laughs> have all been part of the repertoire. Cheney and Graham have struck a lasting relationship and presented us with our dear grandson, Super Sam. <laughs> Today is the icing on the cake, so please raise your glasses to all three. Love and best wishes to Cheney, Graham and Sam. <laughs> Sam's not listening. No. <laughs> Dear Sammy, what are you doing? Writing this next chapter. Yeah. yeah. And if anybody wants to borrow it, I'll have their own version. Terry makes them. <laughs> <laughs>
Soaking through the floor <laughs> And buried in your bones There's a nick that you can't ignore Taking your breath Stealing your mind And all that was 
dream is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you It's only this moment, don't care what can gather Y'all feel a dream, can't you see, getting closer Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open It's a picture in the pulpit and your blood devotion There's so